I want to talk a little about making decisions in paintings and how truly random some of the results can be uh, just based on the decisions that you make. There are kind of branching pathways of decisions, I guess in life generally, but certainly when you're painting, um, especially when you paint like I do with less of a plan when you're just kind of painting for fun and just seeing where it goes. Uh, sometimes you make, or at least I make, snap decisions about, like, for example, backgrounds. I don't always know what I'm going to do with the background when I start a painting. Sometimes I end up not doing a background at all. Sometimes I'll do some basic colors or kind of a, a color gradation uh, or, or a mix or sometimes a nature scenery background. Um, it just depends. And like I said, I don't always plan that out ahead of time. So that's kind of a snap decision that happens during the painting. Sometimes a painting, I'm just not feeling it and I might want to abandon ship and move to something else. So um, it's hard to say, in the, but those are decisions that I make in the moment. Uh, sometimes I don't decide on, uh, I almost always, or I do always use some sort of reference, but I like to change the references sometimes too. Like if I don't like the the way the eyes are looking, if it's looking straight at the viewer, I might want to change where they're looking or maybe I want to change the hair and make it different. Or maybe I want to change the skin tones or, you know, I, I like that randomness and I like those snap decisions. I'm not sure if, if a lot of other artists do that or not. That's really an unknown for me, but um, I recognize that that adds an element of randomness to paintings where sometimes that's not good. Um, sometimes these snap decisions that I make don't work out. So in the painting that I have on screen, the point where you see it is actually maybe the best point in the painting. I think looking back through this video, this was my favorite point of it. And I probably should have stopped it somewhere near here. Um, maybe this one would have been better served without a background or maybe with a simpler background, but certainly I got the facial detail to a good point here and I should have just left it alone, but I didn't. I, I kept messing with it. I kept tweaking, especially the nose and the mouth. Um, and I think I overworked it and lost some aspect of subtlety that was, was kind of nice that existed there. Um, I also decided to go with a nature scenery background, which um, I actually left it up to an Instagram poll, um, which had a tie between a nature background and just a plain color background. So um, again, another snap decision. I just said, okay, let's go nature. Um, and I, I'm not sure it worked out in this one. Um, if I had it to do over again, I, I probably would have stopped at the point that I mentioned before. But there is a tremendous element of randomness when you when you work that way. So I guess that's just part of the game. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, that's all I have for this topic. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you for the next one.